An explosive underwater volcanic eruption in the Pacific triggers tsunami warnings across a vast area, including Japan and the entire U.S. West Coast. A huge volcanic eruption in the South Pacific has sparked tsunami warnings from Australia to California. The explosion was heard thousands of miles away and seen clearly from space. Most contact with the nearby island nation of Tonga has been lost, but some pictures and descriptions of the damage done have made it out, as Sejil Kouakaria reports. A huge plume of ash, steam and gas is rising up from the ocean near Tonga after a volcano underwater exploded. An eruption so powerful, it was captured by satellites orbiting the Earth. And it generated powerful sonic booms that were heard 500 miles away in Fiji. It also caused a shock wave, which is an atmospheric pressure wave, which is what were visible in the, in the satellite footage. So that is something that we do not see every day. So that seems like it's it's a really large event, possibly one of the larger explosive eruptions of the century. It also sparked a tsunami in Tonga itself, with waves crashing through streets and buildings, washing through homes and a church, forcing people to escape to higher ground and cutting off most communication to the outside world. One resident was able to make contact. She said she was okay, but that she was concerned for people living in a low-lying area close by. The huge rolling, cresting waves that seem to go in the direction of a very low-lying settlement. So this series of tsunamis will have given them a major problem. There's thousands of people up in that area on a narrow peninsula. So I'm very concerned for those people just up the road from us here. There are no immediate reports of injuries or even the extent of the damage but it's reported Tonga's king has been evacuated. And tsunami warnings are now in place as far away as parts of Australia and the west coast of America. Sejal Karia, ITV News. The US and Japan have advised people on their Pacific coastlines to get away from the shore after an underwater volcano erupted close to the island nation of Tonga for the second time in two days. Satellite images captured the moment as huge plumes of black ash darkened the sky. The huge eruption caused waves of more than a metre to crash into Tonga. Many parts of the island are covered in ash and experiencing a near total blackout of power and communications. Well, earlier I spoke to Dr. Kayla Yakovina, a volcanologist, who told me more about this eruption. What really makes this eruption significant is its size, coupled with the fact that we've been able to witness it firsthand with these satellite images. Um, early uh, reports are coming out now from the Tonga Geological Service. We still don't know how much material was erupted, which will help us classify the size. But we know that the plume, the volcanic plume, was about five kilometers wide and as much as 20 kilometers high, which is really significant, particularly because that indicates that this eruption rose into the Earth's stratosphere which is the zone of our atmosphere that allows volcanic material to spread out around the globe, creating further reaching impacts. So I guess that explains then the scale of it, because we've seen the tsunami waves on Tonga, the island closest to this volcano, but we've also had tsunami alerts and, and waves across the US West Coast, Australia, New Zealand, as far away as Japan. So what does this say about the sheer strength of this eruption? Well, the eruption was very short, but it was very explosive. So it tells us that there was enough energy released in this very short-lived blast that was able to essentially explode water, push water out of the way, and create this shockwave that sent ripples literally across the globe. Uh, and it kind of goes to show you how far-reaching volcanic impacts can be when there are people in Washington State and Japan worrying about something that happened literally on the other side of the globe. Now, most destructive tsunamis are generated by earthquakes. What do we make of this, that this is an underwater volcano creating these, these powerful waves? Well, that's certainly one of the things that has probably contributed largely to how explosive the eruption was. When, a, when some magma rising uh, from beneath the surface comes in contact with surface water or groundwater, it heats that water so quickly that it turns to steam. And there's a huge change in the volume of water as it goes from liquid water to steam. 
And that is essentially one of the main driving forces in addition to that rising magma and exploding lava. That's another force that causes this massive explosion and really creates this effect that can be felt so far away. Now, this is an area of seismic activity. So are we expecting to see more of this? This is, of course, the second one in a number of days. Yeah, well, you know, it's impossible to say if it's going to erupt again on this scale. Certainly, probably the volcano will erupt again. Um, but we really don't have a good way currently to predict eruptions, uh, certainly not more than hours or days ahead of time. Um, and this volcano, it looked like it was actually waning in activity until this really explosive event happened. Um, I know the local authorities there, the Ch Tonga Geological Service, are keeping a very close eye on it. So the rest of us around the world are going to be looking to them over the next few days to see if we see more precursors such as earthquakes near the volcano, underneath the volcano, that could indicate that another eruption might occur.